Good morning and welcome to EditPlatter.com. I am Sanjeev Srivastava and allow me to take you through the top stories of the day. The big story of course coming from uh, Chennai in Tamil Nadu. How the, uh, the you know, entire night, how the drama, political drama played out there. First it was Pani Salvam, the chief minister, who suddenly had a burst of uh, consciousness coming up on the fore and he went to Jailalitha Jail Samadhi Stal in the night. There he sat for about half an hour, meditated there and then came out and announced to the press that he was forced, he was humiliated into resignation, that he was the choice of the uh, former Chief Minister Jailalitha. He became the Chief Minister thrice, as we all know, and that Jailalitha actually wanted him to continue as a Chief Minister and wanted uh, Mr. Madhusudan as the General Secretary of the party. But instead, his hand was forced, his minister started speaking against him, he was humiliated, and now Jailalitha's Atma has come to him and asked him to come out clean, tell everything to the people of Tamil Nadu, that what really is transpiring behind the scenes. So clearly, raising the flag of rebellion there, Paneer Silvan, who was a Jailalitha loyalist, not a large number of supporters still coming out in his favor from amongst the party uh, legislatures, a majority gather at the Perez Garden residence of uh, Sachikala, 134 out of 135. So majority of MLA is still with Sachikala, but support for Paneer Silvam swelling up in the party cadre in the districts as reports are coming in. Ball in Governor's Court, who is sitting pretty really, so to speak, in Mumbai, in the Raj Bhavan, because he's holding additional charge for Tamil Nadu. So he has presently no plans to come to Chennai and settle this debate as to who should be the chief minister. He's going to sit tight in Mumbai, uh, leading rise to speculation that the political drama currently underplaying, uh, playing out in Chennai may still take another two or three days before a final script, so to say, unveils. So which side the wind is going to blow, what will be the uh, positioning done, posturing done, position taken by different stakeholders, will the MLA just listen to the voice of the people or will they stay with Sasikala, all those and a lot of other things, which side the center will be swaying will be decided in the next couple of days but very interesting times and like Eric Plata and me, I have personally always maintained on this issue that I really don't think that Sasikala can buff can say that she is the true inheritor of Jailalitha's uh, legacy. After all, she was only her assistant. We have a picture, uh, somebody messaged me this morning, where she is carrying Jailalitha's briefcase some 30 years ago. So somebody with no political background, having never won an election, suddenly become chief minister, at least I can't swallow that. And apparently a lot of people in Tamil Nadu are not buying this. So, interesting times. Again, UP elections, other big story. How uh, things are panning out there. The other big story we have come out with on Edit Platter and published it in the top story section is, of course, the Prime Minister's speech of yesterday in the Lok Sabha, which, uh, like I said, I quite enjoyed listening to the Prime Minister. And this again proves he may again be speaking in the Raj Sabha upper house this afternoon. And once again, the manner in which Prime Minister spoke yesterday and in, in response to Malikarjun Kharge, Congress uh, opposition leader, it underscores the fact that how important it is in a democracy that leaders like the Prime Minister, leader of opposition, ministers, they speak on the floor of the house because it's a completely different ball game when you hear these leaders speaking on the floor of the house. I kind of like one comment of his where he chastised uh, Malikarj uh, Jun Kharge for that remark which Kharge had made day, day before yesterday comparing some BJP leaders to dogs saying that not even their dogs had participated in freedom struggle and to which Narendra Modi said that let's not bring down the level of debate to this extent. Maybe our dogs also did not participate but freedom struggle and the Indi spirit for a free India predates even the Congress party. Again, but on the same vein, I didn't particularly like one of the comments which Prime Minister made about, uh, you know, making light of Rahul Gandhi's comment on earthquake and saying, see, finally, an earthquake did come. He was referring to Uttarakhand. I thought, again, that was very unnecessary. But whatever be, the important thing is that the Prime Minister chose to spoke and answered all those who were criticizing him for not saying anything on the floor of the House. There are a couple of interesting stories, uh, more uh, in a first Supreme Court slaps contempt charge on sitting High Court judge, that High Court judge is in Calcutta and he was making some remarks about Chief Justice and other sitting judges of the Madras High Court, so that contempt of court proceedings to be started. 
by Supreme Court in a first uh, decision of its kind. U.S. Appeals Court is skeptical of Justice Department who is demanding that uh, the Appeals Court actually stays the ban which one of the which the Seattle court had put on government decision. There are some good opinion pieces which you like to read here. I would like to mention PM in the UP crucible, Kumar Ketkar piece in Indian Express to how important UP election is for the Prime Minister's dream of returning to power in 2019. Shah Rukh Khan's new Muslim roles, it's a Hassan Sarur piece in Times of India. It's a very nice uh, kind of academic piece, a thinking piece. Uh, so I recommend that for a reading. It's, it's just a different take on race and the kind of roles Shah Rukh Khan has been playing. And the larger issue of a Muslim identity in India has also been discussed and addressed in this issue. Then, of course, uh, there, are, there are a couple of pieces like Samar Halakna's piece by banning NGOs from foreign firms. Government is crippling its own services and laws, which is in HT. Big Brother is watching Pratap Bhanu Mehta in Indian Express. And a lot more good pieces uh, for you from different sections in trending, in world, in opinion, in top stories, and of course, podcasts from my colleagues, wherein they, try, they are trying to give you in a very brief reportage, the best of international news, the best of, of what is happening with their own commentary in some of the key states in India. So do log on to editplatter.com and let us know whether you like what you see, what you read and what you hear. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a good day everyone.